COSM tank today, but we did get some very wild updates. MMTLP tank today, but we did get some very interesting updates. What is going on here with FINRA? Are we actually going to get this dividend? Are we on track to get next bridge? What's going on? Will the short squeeze even happen? We got so much to talk about. I'm working on a new small cap and OTC play that I believe we can make a lot of money on. Everybody on the channel here can make a lot of money on. And then the private discord, just turn on the notification bell to be here as soon as possible. I'll show you a stock at the end that I started a new position in. It's a very risky play, so just keep that in mind. The S&P 500 SPY index is up 3% today. NASDAQ is up 4.4% today. The Dow Jones is up 2% today. And many traders believe we are starting to set up for a Santa Claus rally. What is a Santa Claus rally? It's the term used to describe the phenomenon where the stock market jumps in value during the last week of December and into the first two trading days of the new year. Why did this happen today? Jerome Powell had a speech and had some positive news to give us. The rate hikes are going to slow down a little bit. And instead of doing the 75 basis point hikes every single time, they're going to lower it to 50 basis point hikes until inflation slows down. Powell said the inflation component that have generated the largest rise are now expected to subside, perhaps significantly. That statement right there significantly is the biggest reason the market ran today, in my opinion. He also said the labor market is a potential problem for getting inflation down. Basically, if more people get to work, inflation has a great chance of coming down because all the other components are lining up for it to come down. The reason for the shortfall in labor are excess or early retirements, slow growth and working age population, and net immigration has declined. So overall, what we found out is inflation has a great chance to start slowing down, which means rate hikes will also start to slow down, giving investors a reason to pour money back into the stock market because they just have a little bit more confidence now. Something else I found very interesting that happened today on top of all that great news from Powell a trader made a 36 million options bet on a year end stock rally he bought 20,000 call options linked to the S&P 500 and they expire on December 30th with a strike price at 4100 the stock I covered last night CRBP hit 22 cent today it absolutely ripped it was up 80 percent at one point today you can see the two alerts here in the private discord last night it exploded 80 percent from the alert and you can see this big yellow box right here that is pre-market and then the white box which is very small here but it's there is after hours to trade pre-market and after hours and get in on these big runners because you can see after the market actually opened it exploded and you get 15 free stocks if you sign up for a movement with my link in the top 10 comment that has all these features ten dollars free cash one entry to one up to 60 grand you must deposit after signing up with my link to get all of these features now jumping into ticker cosm down 22 percent today at a 50 million market cap the first red day we have seen for this stock pretty much since the squeeze and the run started i first want to recap how far we have come with this play so you can understand why this stock even dropped so much and if we can recover from here i first put cosm on your radar on october 25th when it was eight cent per share you can see in the video from that eight cent per share post it was up a thousand percent at the high of 88 cent pretty substantial gains for just under a month a thousand percent is ridiculously great gains but i understand that many of you did not get in at eight cent a lot of you got in at 14 cent which was also very low and i started pounding the table on it like crazy under 20 cent i even mentioned in a liar that if you get in under 20 cent, you would be lucky. And that clearly turned out to be the case. So we do understand during a thousand percent run, there's going to be massive swings up and down. A stock will literally never go straight up. And we all know this. That's why I continue to preach. You must scale out on the way higher, scale out into strength. And when I mean a scale out, I mean, you could scale out 10, 25, 50% or more of your position, depending on your trading strategy. And you do that into strength to secure your profits and potentially even buy back lower. You can't get emotional if the stock continues to run even further after your sales. Profit is profit. You always got to take it. There was a massive 60% drop on this stock during this 1000% run. We had that drop and then we continued to move higher. But at the bottom of that drop, it ended up running another 233% from the bottom to the high an absolutely wild swing huge swing you must be prepared for these swings in these short squeeze plays the goal for the company is to get this over a dollar and the ceo has proved he wants to do this but like i've been saying that's far from guaranteed just because a ceo says it and he wants to do it doesn't mean it will happen a lot of these ceos can speak out of their ass a lot of times i'm not saying ceo ceo is speaking out of his ass but 
you know, anything can happen here. The company has to continue to give massive updates if he wants to achieve this, which I believe they will be given those massive updates. But retail has a low attention span. And if they do not get satisfied quick with these short squeeze plays, they will quickly move on to the next stock, which is a good move in many cases. You want to make your profits. You want to, you know, get into other trades. You don't want to have that diamond hand mindset and constantly turn green trades into red. But do I think we can still run this stock up from here? We'll talk about this. How does this red day help the rally? It resets the RSI levels and it filled the 58 cent gap. The RSI tells us if a stock is overbought or oversold. Under 30 is oversold, over 70 is overbought, and in between is normal. The one minute we're sitting at a 40 RSI, five minute 43, 30 minute 53, one day is 71, the one day is the only overbought time frame. the weekly is 50, and the monthly is darn near oversold. The 58 cent gap is filled to the downside, and now we have a 70 cent gap on the one hour chart to the upside. If this gains momentum again with strong news, we know that we can potentially have that magnet to that gap filled to the upside. And it's looking good right now. We do have a green market right now. Hopefully that does continue. It's looking positive. What new information did we get today? Something really odd is going on with the short data. Early this morning, S3 data reported CUSM was at 189% short interest, which is much lower than the 700% it was previously at. Then later in the day, this same source that is showing 189% short interest was updated to 1,611% of the float shorted. I've never seen this happen to any penny stock. I don't know what is going on here with the short interest. I don't know how they go from 189%. They didn't update any of these other stocks midday, but they updated CUSM midday to show 1,600% short interest. It's absolutely crazy. It's S3 data. You have to pay a $9,000 yearly to use this site. So I don't know what's going on with that site, but they're reporting ridiculously high short interest. We know it's heavily shorted, but that is crazy. Something else that was scaring shareholders is the reverse split vote on December 2nd. What people don't realize is if they vote to approve the reverse split on December 2nd, they may or they may not. We don't know yet. It does not happen the same day of approval, even if it's approved. Even if it's approved, it does not mean they will end up enforcing it. If they hit a dollar and they get that minimum bid requirement over a dollar for 10 days, then they're good. But they have until January 23rd to reach a dollar, which is, of course, enough time with the momentum we have going right now. They seem to want to do everything in their power to achieve this goal. And right now is truly the time with the market, you know, getting a little bit bullish here. Penny stocks getting a little bit bullish here and a massive wave of retail investors on their stock. We're going to need upstream more PRs or a CEO insider buy once again. I'm looking forward to what firepower the company brings. Retail is still here. We just need the company to update and feed these retail investors. As you can see, still number one on Reddit. Next stock ticker, MMTLP, down 15% today, 817 right now. MMTLP is eight trading days away from the record date, which is December 12th for traders who want next bridge. Something's going on. FINRA's messing with this record date and this distribution date. There's a lot of talk about fear, uncertainty, and doubt, which is also FUD, even from the TRCH founder, John Brita, saying there was 291,000 shares borrowed this morning and they are selling them, which could be driving the price down today. There's a huge push from retail to set high limit orders for MMTLP. This trader set his $500 Webull order, limit order on Webull and rejected it. And they were citing in this chat here, Webull, that it's over aggressive limit prices and they're putting an end to that. John said this as well. Some funds still don't understand why they will not be able to trade MMTLP after the record date. They have no clue that the spin out takes all the value away from MMTLP. They assume FINRA will just allow trading to continue, but who would buy? TD has said they have not received terms from MMTLP that the shares are going private and they have not set a date for clients to close out their short positions, but either way, they would have to close it out by the record date as you cannot take a short position to a private company, but FINRA has yet to approve the next bridge dividend, and this is another reason for the sell-off today. John said FINRA needs to approve and let next bridge start its journey. In the MMTLPR, it still says that it's pending FINRA approval. Many brokers still have no information about the meta material spinoff, meaning FINRA has not approved it just yet. FINRA is supposed to enable investors to participate in the market with confidence by safeguarding its integrity. But right now, that doesn't seem to be the case. They're ignoring MMTLP. But on the flip side, if FINRA approved the spin now, that would be a major catalyst for further upside for MMTLP. 
We have to see this approval. This is what we're relying on right now. I still like ticker WLAN. It's holding most of its gains after the 300% run at 22 million market cap. We got a positive reassuring update from the CEO. Said he's new to the OTC and getting the feeling that there are and have been false hopes given to investors by owners and CEOs, other owners and CEOs. I also realize a lot of you have been waiting for WLAN to make a turn. I'm here to do just that and earn your trust. So that's very, very good right there. And a stock that I added a little bit of a position to recently is ticker PRDL at a 5.9 million market at 0 0.0013. I like this one. I'll also like it more on dips. It was just confirmed that they have worldwide patented intelligent road pavement markers, and they have 22 patents in 32 countries. With just five patents, WLAN absolutely ripped. So I'm definitely going to be keeping up with ticker PRDL. Make sure you drop a like on this video. That's it for me. Peace.